Polaris Slingshot. Hate it or love it? Or actually, hate it? Since I've recorded a buyer's guide on this three-wheeled autocycle, I turned from a fan to a hater. There are just so many things wrong with it. I wanted to record a new video discussing five things I hate about it, but the list eventually exceeded five points. So here are all the things I hate about the Polaris Slingshot. If you want to take off from a stop in Polaris Slingshot a little bit more calmly and not just scream that you are leaving every time, it's not the easiest thing to do. You have to be pretty tender with that clutch. Then, if it's not ideal weather, either too hot or too cold, there's no real escaping it. There's no AC, and I guess that's the motorcycle factor. Then there goes a seatbelt. Every car you enter in the US, you pull their seatbelt from the left side. This one comes from the right, and it seems to be super sensitive. So, any real sort of tug anytime I go to look over my shoulder. It's tight, and there's no way you can adjust it. So it's always on my neck when I'm driving. I always have to keep readjusting myself. I can pull it behind me, but if you get that one officer that might be on some bull, they might go ahead and just give you a ticket because it's not correct on the right. The next thing I don't like about the Polaris Slingshot is the size of the rim on them. They come in the 18S of the front and 20S in the back, and you can't do upgrades. Personally, I don't think it's enough room and enough tire. The gap you'll see instead of suspension is there for no reason. I've already mentioned this, but I can't stand this space. Next, that I don't like is the sound system that comes in it. The one that comes typically is not so good, and since most dealers don't put systems in it, it's up to you to actually put it in. The speakers are placed right behind your head, allowing you to listen to music with superb quality. There's nothing to complain about these speakers except their durability. According to Polaris, they are built to take the worst the weather can throw at them. Though this is true, some Polaris slingshots seem to roll out of the factory with defective speakers. Some owners have encountered burnt speakers more minor than a week after purchasing a new Polaris slingshot. You can't look to the rear when you sit in the Polaris slingshot and drive. What I did was I actually installed my own backup camera, but I have it running at all times. I researched Polaris issues, and here's what I found. Brake failures on slingshots with less than 100 miles under the hood are usual. Polaris made a bold move with the slingshot by adding ABS brakes, but the problem with the brakes is all over the place. As I heard, one owner had the brakes repaired three times at the Polaris dealership, only to have the brakes busted again after a couple of miles. This particular slingshot only had 78 miles on the engine. On the other hand, another owner had an entirely different issue with his brakes. He had a problem with the brake failure light. Though the brake failure light was illuminated, the brakes worked just fine. He had it checked at the dealership, yet they found no reason for the emergency light to shine. The thing that stands out in Polaris is its third wheel, but the recent model has an issue with the rear wheel which threatens to turn the three-wheeler into a two-wheeler. Since the Polaris slingshot has only one wheel in the rear, losing it mid-drive could mean a significant safety hazard. The issue only affects a specific subset of slingshots. After finding the root cause of the problem and a suitable solution, Polaris offered a recall for the defective slingshots. According to Polaris, the issue was with the assembly at the supplier. The rear axle stud assemblies are likely to be improperly installed. The equipment used at the assembly was poorly maintained, causing this problem. The damaged or faulty equipment resulted in studs that aren't fully pressed or lug nuts that haven't been tightened correctly. With time, these lug nuts can loosen, subtracting a wheel from your slingshot. Due to this issue, 4,744 vehicles were recalled. The stability indicator is one of the most common issues, with the Polaris slingshot. In the Polaris, this is a warning light that you'll come to see regularly. So how do you turn off this light? Usually restarting the car removes the light, switch off the slingshot, leave it for about 10 seconds and restart it. If the light doesn't disappear after the first time, repeat the process a few times. If the stability of the car is off, then restarting the car will not solve the problem. The stability light illuminates when the steering angle sensor is off. The warning light will shine even if it is off by the slightest angle. The best way to deal with it is by taking your slingshot to the dealership. They'd attach a digital wrench to confirm the angle and restart the computer to compensate. Polaris will realign the system if the issue affects the driving, so the light switch is off. Also, many customers complain that their power steering doesn't work after stopping the car for a while. This problem seems to happen when the key is on and the vehicle isn't moving for a while. 
Actually, this is not a problem, but rather a feature in the slingshot to conserve its battery. This is a normal condition when the power assist will become inoperative, but if the key is left in for too long before starting the engine. A light in the dash will illuminate, notifying the driver that the steering assist is inactive. The solution for this issue is simple. Just turn your slingshot off and on again. This should power up the steering assist likewise. This should also eradicate the light in your dash. Next time, when you refuel your slingshot and suddenly the steering assist doesn't work, do not panic. Apart from this issue, another known problem caused the power steering assist to fail. This issue was seen in the Polaris models between 2015 and 2019. The issue causing this problem was excess electricity traveling through the battery's fuse box. This could damage specific electrical components in your Polaris slingshot, including your power steering assist. If this happens during a drive, it could increase the crash risk. Since then, Polaris has addressed the problem by issuing a recall for the affected slingshots. If you ask long-term Polaris slingshot owners about the first thing that fails on a slingshot, the answer would undoubtedly be the bearings. This is especially true if you haven't maintained it properly. If you notice any wear on these bearings, you should consider replacing them before it breaks. There are a few symptoms that indicate that you need to get your bearings replaced. Grinding or humming noises, wobbly wheels, steering wheel vibrations, and uneven tire wear. Bearings are meant to outlast the Polaris slingshot, so with proper maintenance and care, you can avoid trouble regarding your approaches. The simplest thing you can do to avoid premature wear is lubrication. Make sure there is enough grease in there to lubricate the bearings. With enough lubrication, you can reduce the wear and get the most out of your pads. So when the climate is unfriendly, try to store your slingshot where it cannot be affected. As outstanding as these motorcycles appear, their design creates some handling difficulties and specific risks for riders. Specifically the short windshield, not even rising to head level. The short windshield exposes your head directly to the elements. If something bounces off the road and onto a slingshot, this motorcycle's windshield will do little to nothing to protect you from a direct hit. The one wheel in the back of the Polaris is where nearly all of the motorcycle's power goes, meaning it doesn't take much for slingshots to lose traction with the roads. Shifting gears on Polaris slingshots can be tough, jerky, and even ill-timed. With the vehicle's clunky transmission, programming, and its single plate, dry clutch systems, while some fresh models have reportedly had transmission improvements, many other slingshot motorcycles still have complex transmission systems. Here, it's critical to note that the Polaris slingshot has not been put through any official crash safety testing, unlike passenger vehicles. That means they could have other hidden secrets that could present serious safety risks when crashes happen. Unfortunately, these problems only tend to come to light after terrible accidents and catastrophic injuries have occurred. But what do you think about the toy auto cycle? Is it worth the risk?